Marie Curie's daughter, Irene, followed her parents' footsteps and became a chemist. In 1925, she was working with her mother at the Radium Institute when Marie made a fateful decision. Looking for an assistant, she hired a charming young physicist named Frédéric Joliot. Hélène Langevin Joliot describes the young man who would later marry Irène. Marie asked Paul Langevin, do you know a young man, a young man, we could uh, enter the Radium Institute as my preparator, a person helping me for various both things, because my preparator is uh, at the take is of his retiring. And Paul Langevin proposed Frédéric Joliot, and it answers the Radium Institute in 25. My father was an exuberant young man. Okay, uh, rather happy with women, okay. My, my mother was, don't like to speak, only discussing with a few person I know about, and okay, all that. But they understood, they were happy. Together working, they, they share the same kind of value. They were, uh, they were happy, uh, okay, take, uh, doing sports, they were happy with me. So, and they share, okay, the same idea, finally, about science. Spencer Weird also recounts the partnership of Frederick and Irene Joliot Curie. In the Radium Institute, he encountered uh, the daughter of one of Marie and Pierre Curie's two daughters. They had an artistic daughter who became a well-known novelist, and they had a scientist's daughter, Irene. And Irene, a uh, couple years older than Joliot, uh, uh, they had things in common. They shared the French scientific culture. Uh, they shared political views, which were what we would now call mildly uh, on the left, progressive, uh, vaguely socialist. But their main political views were that science was a great thing and should be supported. And she, too, was a brilliant scientist. Frédéric and Irene Joliot Curie's daughter, Hélène, was born in 1928 and followed the Curie family tradition by becoming a physicist. <laughs> 